Hey you guys, what's up? I just received my 35S palette in the mail. I am excited. I really want to do a really pretty, I think I'm going to do like a pink and a teal look. Um, this is the palette if you have not seen it yet. It's the Sweet Oasis palette. It's so pretty. I love all the blue shades and the pink shades. I'm really excited to try this. So, with that being said, don't forget to like this and share and subscribe. And I'm going to jump in and start with my eyes like I always do. And hopefully it turns out how I want it to. I have like, I don't know, four or five looks I really want to do with this palette. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like debating which one I want to do first. But I'm definitely going to do this one first. And then like, I'm like already ready to wipe this off and like play with this palette some more. It's really funny about this palette because at first I was just kind of like, yeah, that's pretty when I first saw it like announced on Instagram, like Morphe's Instagram. I was like, yeah, that's whatever. And then like my friend messaged me and was like, hey, this palette's pretty cute. And I was like looking at it more and I'm like, actually, it really is cute. So then I started thinking like, Maybe I want that. <laughs> so I ordered it because it's only $25. Bruno knows that Morphe is, you know, pretty inexpensive for, like, the amount you get anyway. I think the quality is pretty nice. I know some people don't like it, but I've never had an issue with it, so it's whatever. I'm just adding a little more. I think that sponge, because I just got it, it's pretty wet. I think it's, like, sucked up some. I'm excited. It's Friday right now and Wanda, a new episode of WandaVision comes out. Not sure if any of you guys are watching it, but it's on Disney+. Plus. It's exciting because no one really knows what's going on. It makes like no sense. But it's exciting to see like, you know, what's happening basically. I asked my mother-in-law and my mom if I could do their makeup on for a video and they both said yes, so that's pretty exciting. They both don't have eyebrows though, like none. So I'm definitely going to, I told them that I would come over and like practice drawing their eyebrows before we got on screen. So that way I didn't make them look like ridiculous. Cause I've literally like never really done anything to eyebrows. Cause I have like big, bold, I have to like wax them all the time. I get a unibrow, I get them, they go really far down. They're just thick. So I've never had to deal with that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is jump in with... Let me make sure this is clean. I'm using my color switch. Hope this gets... There's like a brown shade on this, so I hope... Yeah, it looks like no brown's going to come off. I'm going to jump into the shade Love Struck, which is a very light pink. And I'm just taking that on the Do Color number 2 brush. I'm just going to start putting that, like, ooh, that shade's so pretty, above the crease area, more like the transition shade area. Oh, I just saw a thing online that, um, for Michigan anyway, that restaurants are going to be opening up February 1st. Which, you know, that makes me really happy because, you know, as long as you're maintaining social distancing and... You know, being safe, I feel like we should be able to go out and, you know, eat some food and support restaurants because I feel like it's really hard for them right now. But I'm also excited because my husband's birthday is at the end of this month and he really wants to, you know, go out and have fun for his birthday. So we started wondering like if they were even going to be open for the birthdays or not the birthdays in time for his birthday I'm just going to take a little bit more on this side oh I really like this light pink it's so light and pretty I think I'm going to go into private villa next which is just a little bit of a darker pink shade. I'm taking that still right on the same brush. I'm just going to take that a little bit lower. Do that to the same on this side.
If any of you guys are watching WandaVision, what do you think's going on? Leave it in the comments below. Do you think Vision is alive, or do you think it's just her mind? I personally do not think Vision's alive. I think that someone's controlling her, like keeping her in the state, or she's in keeping herself in that state, or something. Okay, I'm going to go in with the shade Picture Perfect, and that's a pretty, it's kind of like a maroon shade. And I'm taking this on the number 12 brush. I'm just going to put a line like where my crease is a little bit higher. Taking it in and out. I'm not like winging or anything. So far, I mean, there's a little bit of pickup in this Morphe palette, but not a lot. This is, I believe, my third Morphe palette. I really like their palettes, and I really want that um, XO palette. I'm hoping they restock it for Valentine's Day because it's uh, like a love palette. It's all pinks. So I'm hoping they restock it so I can... Um, pick up that and then I'll have four of them okay I'm gonna take a fluffy brush now probably go into this number nine brush from do color gonna grab the tiniest little bit of that maroon shade which is picture perfect and just start blending this upward I should just say blending it out honestly I mean it's gonna go up but it's also gonna go down but we're gonna cut the crease down there I actually have some new lipsticks a highlighter and I'm actually gonna try the um, Maybelline Superstay yeah Superstay full coverage complete and I believe this is a full matte I think it's matte um, yeah seamless matte Matte foundations don't really agree with me, but I did see a video of a girl and she said the same thing and she loved that foundation and I've not tried it, so I'm like, I'm going to try it. And I bought this um, in December, I think, and I haven't tried it yet, so I definitely want to try it again. Okay, I'm going to go in with that um, Private Villa again on the same number 9 brush. Just go above again. Just to bring more of the color in. Now that I got this darker shade in. Make sure everything's blended nice. It's like acting kind of weird right here, but it is blended. It just doesn't look like it. Like when I'm looking in the camera. And then I'm going to take some of that lighter shade, that love struck again. Just kind of do the... That's such a pretty shade, I cannot get over it. I might not even need that other Morphe palette, that XL, because this has a lot of pinks in it. And it's so pretty. Okay, I think it is time to cut the crease and see what it looks like. This is the... Elf lip defining brush. I'm gonna try with this. I feel like I have done this already. So I'm just gonna try. Oh, I'm just now noticing that this white shade in here, this whole time I thought it was like a matte, but it seems like there's a little bit of a shimmer. So that's pretty. It's like the worst cut ever. I'm not used to using this little brush. I guess none of my cuts, honestly, are that good yet. <laughs> Fred's like running back and forth, so it's really cute. 
I'm like, I'm closing this eye to do this eye. What am I doing? Oh no, I just looked, got it up too. I'm gonna have to fix that now. Let me take that blending brush again. Okay, it is what it is at this point. Okay, so now I'm going to take a flat brush, which is the Dew Color number five brush. And I think I'm going to first go into Coastline Cruise. Ooh, or do I want to do Island Hop? Island Hop is more of a like a green tealy. And Coastline Cruise is more, these are shimmer shades. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go into Coastline Cruise. Grab my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Take that in the inner corner. To about the middle of the eye. I should try to spray my brush and see if I can get a little more color off. Yeah, that looks a lot better since I sprayed my brush. And I just sprayed it with the LA Girl setting spray. I think I'm gonna take Sail Away first. Again, on that flat brush. Just going outward. Starting in the center, kind of overlapping the shimmer shade. And then for the last shade, I think I'm going to take Infinity Pool, which is a little bit of a darker version. And take that on the corner right here. Oh, that wasn't as dark as I was hoping. Okay. And I'm gonna take a blending brush. I'm gonna go in with this number nine. And I'm just going to go into Hidden Cove. Take this on the outside. Ooh. I think I wanna take my finger and grab some of this um, Island Hop, which was that minty shimmery shade. And just tap a little bit to bring just a little more umph to like that middle area. And then I'm gonna take that number nine brush again, go back in with Private Villa, which is that pink shade. Okay, and I'm calling that a day on my eyes. Obviously I'll add mascara into the lower lash line, but I think that's where I wanna stop for that. I really love this palette. I cannot pl wait to play because there's like so many pretty just warm tones in general in there. So I'm really excited to use it again. Okay, and to start my face, I'm going to use the Catrice Hydrating Prime and Care Spray just because my skin has been so dry lately. Like it's so annoying. Last time I used this, I did this too. I'm like, I just used you. It feels so good on the skin though, like if you guys haven't tried that specific one, I really love it. I like the um, Wet n Wild ones too, um, they're just as good to me, I just, I don't know what it is, I really like this one too. And then for primer, I'm going to be using the um, Putty Primer by e.l.f., just the original one. Um, I seem to always go back to this just because... You know, I have pores and I hate them. Ooh, I'm loving my eyes. I just love, the, like, I don't know. I love co color on my eyes. Like, I love doing, like, a good smoky eye or whatever. I just, I don't know. Something about color, like, I really like that. I saw this really cool, um, like, pixelated eye look where they did like pixels around their eyes and I'm like, I kind of want to recreate that. I feel so nice. I really hope this foundation looks like okay because I'm trying to look 
you know, I'm trying to feel pretty today, basically. Like, I want to look good. Okay, so let's hope. And I got the shade um, 118 Light Beige. One, I'm hoping this one isn't too dark or too light for me. And two, I'm really hoping this doesn't look like crazy, you know? So I don't know. I don't know if you just spin this or... Oh, okay. I was spinning, like, the whole container. It's got a pump, which is... No, cool, whatever. I'm gonna start with a pump and a half on the back of my hand. It kind of looks a little dark, so. Hopefully, we will see what happens. It feels really nice, like really thin. gonna use my it cosmetics double-sided brush I really like my other one um, just my opulent beauty one but I don't know this one was out it was right there so I might as well use it I hear the coverage on this is like amazing and as you see I feel like my face is breaking out everywhere and I'm not really sure why but it just is i really love this morphe palette oh my god i cannot wait to just do makeup again do you, any of you guys have palettes like that where you're just like oh i can't wait i feel that way kind of about any of my eyeshadow palettes not like not i guess not all of them but a lot of them just because like eyeshadows has been something that i've always been interested in I remember I went to this um, church event with my friend and way younger, I'm talking like, I can't even remember how old I was, um, and it was like a girl's thing, it's like a girl's night or whatever at the church, and I remember like some of the moms brought like makeup and stuff, and I remember just me like doing everyone's eyeshadows. Which now I feel like I have like no skill with eyeshadows just because I stopped playing with makeup. But back then, like, they always asked me, like, what did you want to be, you know? What did you want to do or whatever? And I didn't remember this till the other day, but I remember just always wanting to be something with makeup like eyeshadow. Like, I was like, I just want to like do crazy makeup on, like, eyeshadow makeup on people. And it's weird that I completely forgot about that. It's weird about the things, like, that I don't think about, that I, you know, forgot about. Looks like it's dry on my forehead, but that's nothing new. Basically, this right here is my teller of if I can wear the foundation or not. Like, it's just crazy. Like, everyone's skin is so much different, and, like, some people it might be their nose, or some people it might be their cheeks, or whatever. But lately, it's this right here. Like, my forehead has been drier than, like, the desert. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so dry. This shade looks okay, I think. I don't really know. Like, with this light on, it always I always feel like it looks alright. And then sometimes I get up in, like, more of the natural light, and I'm like, oh, I'm really tan, or oh, I'm really pale, or whatever, so. So far, I don't think I've ever really found, like, a true, true, true match. Okay, I'm definitely gonna wait for this to, like, soak into my skin, but so far, it's literally just sitting on top of my skin. It looks awful. But, like I said, I'm going to give it a few minutes. So, I always feel like I judge it, like, way too soon before it even gets a chance to be, you know, like, meet me. I got this, um, blush by Wet n Wild, by the way, and I don't think I'm going to wear it today because it doesn't match my eyes at all. But it's, like, this orange. Like, it didn't look so shimmery online, but it's, like so shimmery here like it almost looks like it could be an orange highlighter so I'm just kind of like oh 
I think for bronzer today, I'm just going to use the uh, Belgian Waffle Palette. I haven't used this in a hot minute, and I think I'm going to go in with the shade um, Batter, which is that middle shade right here. I'm going to take this, uh, my number two BH brush. I have a palette set coming. I can't say much more about it until it gets here, because I, like, it's kind of a surprise. Like, I don't know. I'm not necessarily, like, surprising you guys. I'm just, like wanting to plan a whole bunch of like looks with it before I like talk about it but I've been waiting for it for a while and I cannot wait I didn't do concealer again what is wrong with me <laughs> I mean I know that whole tiktok trend right now is not wearing um is adding dark circles to your under eyes but I mean I guess I win that competition. Hold on a second. Let me add a little concealer. I'll just add a little bit. I don't know why I keep forgetting this. It's like one of the most important steps for me in makeup anyway. It's just because my eyes are like so dark. Wouldn't that be a look? Just going like, hey, here for my shift. Can you punch me in? I feel like I say something dumb like that every time. <laughs> like, I honestly feel like I have, like, dad jokes going on. Well, honestly, it doesn't change that much wearing concealer or not, I feel like. Okay, back to bronzer. I'll add a little bit more just in case, like, things got a little muted or whatever from the concealer. I love adding bronzer to my chest, especially like in summer months. I'm wearing a cute top, like, and just want to be a little more bronzed. You know what? And then I completely forgot I was going to wear a cream blush today. I'm like failing, you guys. This forehead is so dry looking right here, though. Oh my god. Okay, so for blush, since I was going to use that, but. Now I'm not. I guess I'm just going to go in with this um, blush from the... What was this? The Black Widow collection from um, Ulta. I don't know why I can't say Ulta, but that's where it took me. Okay, we're going blushy again. I feel like extra blush is so in, but at the same time, like, lately I've been putting too much blush. But then at the same time, sometimes I see, like, my videos that when I'm editing, I'm just like, you can't even see my blush bronzer or anything. So I'm like, am I putting too much or is it just, like, me thinking that I am? Oh, and then for the highlight, I definitely am going to try this new highlight. Um, I'm just gonna use my BH brush. This is the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow. It's got kind of a pink hue to it, which it didn't look like that online, so. Oh, it's really pretty though. It's blending very nicely. Ooh, it's really pretty, you guys. Blossom glow, yeah, you ain't lying, girlfriend. This is like... Oh, let me, um... Like, I'm like a goddess right now. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Mm. I love this highlight. I think I'm going to do this in my inner corner as well. I'm going to grab a smaller brush, obviously. Apparently, I want to be seen from outer space by the aliens. Okay, so for my lower lash line, let me just get that done and over with because I keep looking at it and I feel like I'm going to forget it. 
how, why, I don't know. I just I feel like I'm going to. Okay, and I'm actually going to use that same brush I just did the um, highlight with. I just color switched it, and this is the Thera short shading brush. And I think for my lower lash line, I'm definitely going to go in with pink. You know what? I don't want to use this brush. I feel like it's a little too thick. I'm like, oh, I'm going to definitely use it. And I'm like, no, never mind. I regret my decision. That's a little too large. Large and in charge, Marge. Okay. I'm going to go in with Private Villa, which is that pink shade. You know, maybe I should have did blue since I winged this out a little. Maybe I'll take take a little blue too I like how I just second guess everything I'm like no I should have did that it's too late I am gonna take a little blue though like sail away kind of add it in on this corner and bring it in a little Ooh, I feel like Maya's just got a little bloodshot from that. Okay. All I need now is mascara and some lipstick. I actually have three new shades of lipstick that I just got from uh, Wet n Wild. I got the shade um, Toffee, Cock, Toffee Talk, um, which is this really pretty like nude. And then I got this Nudie Patootie, which is this very light nude. And then I got this pink shade, which is Rebel Rose. And I'm probably going to go in. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to go in with Nudie Patootie. It's very nude. And I want to see what it looks like. I guess what I need is to definitely invest in some lip liners. Okay, and to finish it off, I'm going to do some mascara. God, this lip is so nude. I love it. For mascara, by the way, I'm just using that blue cap of essence. Alrighty, and this is the finished look. And I'm actually really digging it. I love the, the like blue and the pink together. And I really need to do something with my hair. It's getting annoying. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, and I enjoyed this video. I really, really love this um, 35S Sweet Oasis palette. So if you guys can afford it and if you like the shades in there, go for it. I feel like it's great quality. You get... What is it 35 shades yeah 35 shades for 25 dollars which i don't feel is that bad and um i didn't set my face so i guess we're not doing that today but anyways have a great day you guys and i will catch you guys next time later